Bruce thought. Uh, via Sestina, I'm going to trust it. I know the track mightn't be right, but the Via Sestina I saw in Sydney in the autumn and first up here, I'm going to forgive her. I'm with Warmonger. I think he can run a really, really good race in this, uh, especially, as you said, Richo, with the rain coming, that won't disadvantage him. Uh, no doubting uh, he'll be really hard to beat. So we're moments away from the Turnbull Stakes. It's worth three quarters of a million. Um, nine Group 1 winners in the field. And this will be a race that shapes the Cups and a Cox Plate. Matt Hill's ready to call. The rain falls again here at Flemington. A tissue joins them. Mark Zara has won two of the last four runnings of this. Quitora's in by Dajon forwards. Buckaroo with Joe Marrera taking another turn. Duke de Sessa forwards. Banker's choice towards the outside. Here's Buckaroo, so dominant in the underwood. Takes a middle Ellie, and that will leave Elias, winner of nine from 11 from that awkward draw. We're just about there for the Group 1 Tab Turnbull Stakes. The field is set to run. Ready at the 2,000 metres. Starter has them. Ready and away. Towards the back via Sestina early with also Banker's Choice. Plaster Carousel began well. Young Verta ridden with aggression. Duke de Cesses up there three wide with Bois d'Argent. They were followed by Circle of Fire improving. LES five and six deeps also searching up. Then came a tissue Francesco Gardi back in the field settling down as Buckaroo with Via Sestina. They were followed by Valiant King and the back half is Knight's Choice with also Warmonger and Sharp and Smart. And then towards the back we tore and also Banker's Choice at the 1400 metres. The leader is Duke de Cessa in the Turnbull by a length and a half. LES got to second from that outside draw. Two further back is Bois d'Argent a length and three quarters young Verter and then came Plaster Carousel two and a half lengths away in the field is a tissue on the rails from Circle of Fire sharp and smart on a limb has only one option to force up they were followed by Via Sestina who's tracking wide from Buckaroo and then came Francesco Gardi a length and a half warmonger three deep around Knight's Choice and they were followed well back by Valiant King Banker's Choice and Huy Tor Duke de Sessa kept them moving at the 850 by three quarters of a length LES if anything getting a little bit closer. They're a length and three quarters Bois d'Argent and Young Verter followed by Plaster Carousel who's four off the lead. Two lengths of tissue sharp and smart circle of fire from Francesco Gardi. Via Sestina's looking for a back to follow into it and they were followed well back by Buckaroo who has ten lengths to pick up from Warmonger Knight's Choice and then came Valley and King and well back Banker's Choice so Elias moves up on the outside of Duke de Cessa. 400 metres to go. Two lengths Young Verter Bois d'Argent. They were followed by a tissue into the clear via Sestina very wide and Buckaroo is winding up to Duke de Cessa at the 200 metres and LES their stride for stride here's Buckaroo right down the outside with via Sestina Duke de Cessa kicking via Sestina and Buckaroo are coming together Buckaroo and via Sestina via Sestina and Buckaroo via Sestina a terrific win beat Buckaroo LES third from Duke de Cessa then came Young Verta and a tissue Francesco Gardi behind them Plaster Carousel Circle of Fire, Valiant King and Warmonger, Quitora's Nick, Sharp and Smart Knights, Choice Bois d'Argent and Banker's Choice. That's a proper race. That's a Waller Quinella. Have a look at that, Richo. Have a look at Frosty and the Magician in the last 100 metres and find some, did she? She is right back on the pedestal. Cox Plate Market's going to take a big, big twist right now. And I reckon J-Mac's watching here, don't you, Richo, in Sydney and thinking, she'll do. She's the one for me. I can't make the broadsiding wait. Yeah, she'll do all right. So I'm sure that Chris will pivot towards a Cox Plate with her. And he might do the same, Bruce, with Buckaroo. Whereas Elias has said, hey, consider me from a Caulfield Cup point of view, where he will get back to a handicap. And Duke de Cessa, also so brave on speed. Uh, a tissue's run well. There's a lot of good runs in the race, but... Lizzie, I thought Bruce summed it up best. Oh, that was a proper race. Proper race. As you mentioned, two horses going absolutely hammer and tong down the Flemington Strait. Look at the connections. 
much roaring and cheering. It was such a close finish in the end and great to see her back in Group 1 style. I've got to give a big mention to Buckaroo. He's jumped out of the ground this preparation. He's always been a horse that has promised a lot and he's delivering now on the Group 1 stage. But she's a star and we've known that for a very, very long time. Yeah, she's already a Group 1 winner, uh, uh, Bruce, when she's been here in Australia a couple of times.